war, old dear war. If they see me, this will get messy. Soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Gidrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Xenifort Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman will stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. <laughs> Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go. Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrifying. Gods! 
All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead. Always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. <laughs> Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia and all of England. Basim has a deep impact. of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and well there will be time enough for my saga later hey can't do this alone Sigurd kill this sweaty fishwife stay your blades this traitor, Giedrich, will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy-ass bastard Alfred, we won't have it. Lady, there's no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Xenophotshire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued dame. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. 
I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. What do you do best to get your sleep to? Long time, eh? I can still fight these bastards! Die! Blood for Oxen for Shire! Remain steadfast! you fight well. Thank you for that. Gidrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd, to charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Gidrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Batim! Eivor! To horse! Attack on sight here. They are about to execute the prisoners. These subjects of the Ian Wynn have been trained their own to the Shire. Not true. Silence! They stand a few. We must bring down Edwin once and for all. I owe you my life. sent me to find you. Let's go, now. For God and mercy!
safely over there. We fought with our Weasley Elder for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman, Fulke. You see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done, Cap. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Giedrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Giedrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Gidrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could ship away at flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, Destroy him. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. Heathens is as heathens do. I have to say, all this religious nonsense of theirs does not
How do we charm her when she's in our care? Do we say what we're after? Or do we dare? And here's Eivor. Ah, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Aver. There was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. What do we know of this woman? someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. to her a thought? It's not.
For like holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus. Who dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key and depart with your strange friend. Treasury of Light for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies. Heresies. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge. The false god worshipped by his robes in Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Where you go, I will follow. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. Do you know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory? It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone. With strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? 
The sooner we see this slap of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Sega stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you, for preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yaldabaoth, the demiurge of many names. A lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. up ahead. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Ransacked from floor to roof. Basim, stand guard outside. This is Eden's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I ask Paul. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest. Treasury of Light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You, always questioning, second guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. Patience, brother. We'll find this stone wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor and first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade. That stone, for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred our word. 
For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Diedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not. Avon! No! Cut them down! Ah! Leave them alive! Avon, are you mad? Edwin, please. We had our chance. We will speak of this, Avon. I will not forget. Fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. That's one view, Basim. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths, and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Gidrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. You move with the wrath of Odin. But you do not have his wisdom. That will lead you astray, Eivor. Come, friend. We have a battle to prepare for. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind. And he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrit asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda, south of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you're lost in a sea storm of your own making. Eatwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining the day. He 
these wind soldiers have got us in a tough spot. We're grateful for any help we can give. Hell with you! God won't let us lose! We don't have time for philosophical discussion. The set soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Yidmin. I see visions of burning men. The screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. This place is heavily guarded. Should we hide them? Fresh kills will arouse suspicion.
What was that? My howl. Edwin's men approach. the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? How is that possible? You don't believe such a thing yourself, do you? Not elusive self-begotten light who reigns over all, but a lesser god. Imperfect, and given to temptation. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich, to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here. ...to pray for the souls of the dead before I join. <laughs> See that our flashes of arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to a man! Gidrich. Eivor! Have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. 
My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Let's kill a badger and ask Odin for a race. Look, lads! There's Eivor! We're with you, Eivor! Those castle walls won't be thick enough to stop us! Long live Kiedrich! Go! I'm in. you <laughs> 
There's more to be done. But this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Giedrich to lead his men. Say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight now. You're a good man. Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I am here to speak with Giedrich. Go on then. Your master awaits. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions, prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day, the lord of justice, the harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's important, read well. We're ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back.
this time. the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. You fought with honor and purpose. For that, I put you in Gidditch's care. He will see you're treated well. I will, so long as you recant your friendship with that pot of warm piss, King Alfred. Agreed. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. I have weakened Edwin's defenses enough. Ambushing her soldiers should be my final strike before the battle begins. Sigurd, in a dream, not once, a thousand times, a thousand. What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come! 
King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. I understand, King Alfred. Your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. But for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange. Please, man. No secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfric! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl, I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred, wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke, you with this company? I was, my lord, to recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! Hush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith. For the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must. But treat him with care. What was that? I will shatter them. They shall not. 